So we are on our second day in this journey. We were so exhausted. I don't even know how we were able to stay up till 10. You couldn't. You were at the edge of your... Oh my god, I was dead. You were completely down. It's around 8.30. We are going to the privileged section having breakfast. And then we do the murder mysteries. God, that's gonna be... I'm so excited about that. Our room is completely destroyed, but since it's a hotel room, that's what you're supposed to do. Next morning we woke up early so we could get downtown in time for our murder mystery. Here's some explanation. So the way we travel is the way every good old tourist does. Long before our arrival, we go online, preferably on TripAdvisor, type in the location and try to find activities that sound reasonably exciting. That's how we found Vancouver Mysteries. The idea is that you are a detective and given the clues and solving riddles around the city, you have to figure out who the murderer is. It sounded extremely cool, and needless to say, we were both very excited about it. Suspension is riding very, very high. <laughs> when we Charlie are is accusing every person who's walking by of murder. Every person. <laughs> it's maybe my wife is behind all this. I'm not. Those guys behind us, maybe they are. After accusing every person with murder, our detective supervisor Tanya showed up. Well, hello there. <laughs> Sneaking up on the detective, that's pretty tricky of you. She handed over a bag, which included a notebook of the facts we already know, and the route we had to take to find answers to the sheet of questions we had to fill. It included finding numbers on parking meters, matching the station ceiling to different shapes, finding statues, measuring trash bins, using a compass. Each clue was close to an important historical site of the downtown area, so we got to learn a lot along the way. Actually, we got so much into the game, we pretty much forgot to record any of it. And we managed to solve the case three minutes before the deadline, so our detective team ended up getting a pretty high score. Our next stop was the Vancouver Science World. That's pretty cool. Okay, that was pretty cool. That's a good start of a science fair. Yeah! This is a pretty cool building. Um. The science world was mostly for the younger generation with a lot of toys and games. It was nice, but I wouldn't say I learned a lot. Oh, I'm awesome. Yes, science! The big ball on the top of the building happens to be the world's largest Omnimax theater. And boy, that scream was impressive. Bro, this thing can hold like a thousand people. No. We even went up to the rooftop because they had a garden up there with flowers and bees. I mean, real bees flying everywhere. Who does that? Bees. 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 There's a seagull. Seagull. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. After that, we were spinning balls in water, made artificial tornadoes, I lifted up myself because I'm incredibly strong, both failed miserably on a ski simulator, and I had to shoot with one hand, mostly because I'm retarded and cannot close my left eye. <laughs> a little... Well, that was good. That one was good. There was a LEGO exhibition too, which was so cool I forgot to record any part of it. Alyssa's heartbeat was actually beating drums. <laughs> And I even turned into a chipmunk to save the planet. Is there any scores? No, you just produced 20 watts, so... Oh yeah, and there was that thing with a lot of balls again, and the statue made of red balloons that we shouldn't have touched, but totally did. Honey. Okay. That's just for visuals. After that, we skytrained back to the hotel. Inspired by our murder mystery, we watched one of Bill Murray's classics, The Man Who Knew Too Little, and went to bed exhausted on the next episode. This is my house, Ben. We are on a tour. I've never been on a tour before. <laughs> How does it feel? It's so cool. Like they're shooting at all these informations to us. Yeah, we're watching the sea things and then we're going to go to the suspension bridge. So, still a lot ahead. They're still in love. And still in love. We are new with that.
پرانو